is launching March 1st at 12 p.m. Mountain Time, 1 p.m. Standard Time. It's coming around the corner real soon. All right, so today I'm diving in deep. I'm gonna show you everything because I am so picky about my swimwear and I honestly love the swimwear line. It is a luxury swimwear line. I get it, it is on the pricier end, but for me, it's worth the investment to feel confident as heck when I'm going to the pool or the ocean and not having to worry about just feeling weird in my swimsuit. We don't want that. So for you guys, I'm gonna be comparing Toluca Swim to other brands. I'm gonna be comparing coverages, uh, everything. Diving in deep to every little thing you need to know because I want you feeling confident. I want you feeling good. For stats, just so you guys can like compare and figure out sizing. I am 5'5". Five five. I have a little bit of a longer torso, so keep that in mind. I am around 39 to 40 inches on my hips, so a little bit wider hips compared to my waist. I'm around a 27 inch waist. 32B, I typically always go for smalls and swimwear on top and always go for mediums and swimwear on bottom. So keep that in mind. I do find Toluca to fit really true to size. So personally, I haven't really had to change up anything. It's like it fits good. I feel like bottoms are the trickiest. So I really hope I can help you figure out what you need to get today. And then before we move on any further, I do wanna let you guys know that I have a link if you'd like to support me. So I will link it down below. I'll link it on my Instagram and in my Instagram bio. But whenever you click that link, it directly supports me and I appreciate it more than you know. So yeah, I just wanna say thank you right off the bat. And all you have to do is click it, nothing else. And then you just shop away. And hopefully things don't sell out too quick. I feel like the last launch went really well, like things didn't sell out in minutes. So I really hope you guys can get exactly what you want because if you're going on a honeymoon, if you're going to the beach, if you live somewhere tropical all the time, you're gonna want some of these pieces. I'm going on my honeymoon in six months. It is kind of far away, I get that, but this made me so excited because we're going to Maui and I do feel like this collection is like meant for Maui. I am so, so excited. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna start off with coverage of the bottoms because I feel like that's what you guys are most concerned about. That is the number one question I got was to compare coverage, how much coverage is there, how much booty is hanging out for the world to see. Just so you guys know, my personal favorite bottom from Toluca, just gonna tell you right off the bat, is the Midi Plus. Midi Plus is like, it fits me like a dream. It is the ideal amount of coverage for me. I just absolutely love it. You're about to see a lot of my butt. So, we're friends, we're BFFs now. If you're weird, just. So we are going to start with the midi bottom, which is the lowest amount of coverage bottom I currently have. I will say, I think it's the Simone bottom is the lowest amount of coverage, but they're both midis, so. Like I said, the Midi Plus is my favorite because it just has slightly more coverage than this one, but the Midi is gonna hit a little bit higher on those hips. It's not going to be as high-waisted, so as you can see, it's like right below my belly button, but I do have a longer torso. The Midi has um, a little tortoiseshell tortoise, tortoise, tortoise tortoise detailing. I don't know why I can't say it. Um, and then it's gonna be like Midi coverage in the back. As you can see, this is where it's hitting me. It's like, it's not a thong, but it's not the most amount of coverage. I don't feel like it digs in anywhere, so it does have a nice amount of stretch, as you can see. I don't think it's gonna like cut in anywhere. And that's another thing too, I don't feel like it is cutting into my butt at all. As I walk, it does definitely ride up a little bit, but with any sort of midi or thong style bottom, that's gonna happen. I just feel like they're bound to ride up. But I do find that doesn't happen as much with my Midi Plus. Once again, why it's my favorite. All right, so I do not have the Midi Plus bottoms in this new collection, but I do have them from the previous collection. So I just wanna try them on for you so you can at least see how they fit and feel. So 
right off the bat, you can see that they hit me a little bit higher on my waist and there's just a little bit more like thickness here in the band, whereas the other ones hit just slightly higher. So they're still a really flattering cut, like they still come up higher. It's just not so extreme and not so low here. And then I really like how in the back there's just slightly more coverage. So it's still definitely a little cheeky, but I feel like whenever I walk or move, they're not like riding up my butt. So these ones just fit so flipping good. Like for my body type, just being a little bit more curvy on the bottom, they feel so good. I feel so confident in them and they're not like digging in anywhere. Once again, they have a lot of stretch. I'm wearing a medium in these two and I ordered a small, so I will show you just for comparison how the smalls fit me. The small does fit in the midi plus, but it definitely is more cheeky. So if you're in between sizes, I would just base it on, do you want slightly more coverage or less coverage? Cause if you go with your smaller size, it is going to be tighter and probably a little smaller on your like booty. So if you want that little bit more coverage and you're in between, I would go with the bigger size. So once again, I always choose mediums and bottoms, but these mediums fit me so good, like so good. I love everything about them. I hope they don't change a thing about them because they're so perfect. Like I said, I don't have them in the Palma, so I don't know, but I'm pretty sure everything stayed the same with the Midi Plus. This is my vote. These are my face. So here is the small Midi Plus bottoms on me. So honestly, they fit. So the small and medium fits. Like I said, I just feel like the mediums don't ride up my butt when I walk, whereas these smalls definitely kind of start to hike up. So they both fit. Neither of them are digging into my waist or my butt or anything like that. It's just these... Like I feel like you can already tell a little bit more cheeky and when I move around and walk, they start to just you know, go right up. So I feel like the swimwear is all super, super stretchy so you can get away with either size. Once again, just keep coverage in mind. Do you want a little bit more? Do you want to play it safe? Or do you like a little more risky? I don't know. So last pair of bottoms. Once again, I do not have them in the new Palma collection, but I have them from the previous one. And the only thing different, I believe, is that they took this band off. So it's just a seamless all the way through, which I think will be more flattering. I do feel like this band, like, I don't know. It just doesn't need to be there. I do think just a seamless look is really nice, but I'm wearing a medium. These are the maxi bottoms. So they're gonna be your fullest coverage bottom while still being like somewhat cheeky. Honestly, everything goes back to like, what's your booty size? Because all of these different coverages are going to look different on everyone. So I do feel like the maxi bottom is still just a little bit cheeky on me because I have a butt. Like at the end of the day, if you have a butt, you have a butt. Let's just celebrate it. It is what it is. Okay, so with the maxi bottom, it's going to have the most amount of width between like the hips and waist. So they're not gonna be so high up on the hip. I feel like they just hit like a normal swimsuit would. And then they're gonna be the highest amount of coverage like on the waist. The mediums are just slightly loose on my waist. They don't give me any sort of compression, which is why I do love the midi plus in my mediums. I think in the maxi, I could have actually done a small. And then the one thing that they added in was this little like ruching on the butt so that you don't look like you're wearing a diaper, you know? It just gives you a little bit of curves makes you look all cute, your booty looks cute, all that good stuff. Okay, now it is time to compare brands to brands. I have two luxury brands and one like normal brand. Yeah, like a more affordable swimsuit option. Right off the bat, obviously Toluca is my favorite, but I'm gonna compare like what I like more or less about each of the suits. So. Let's just start with Bidey. So this is an Australian based swimwear line. I would say this is the closest I got to ever feeling like a suit was made for my body and made me feel confident. So I do love their suits. However, I just find the Toluca ones to be more comfortable. So I would say as far as fit goes, I did really love how these fit me. I found them to be really flattering, a good amount of coverage. Just didn't find them to be the most comfortable. So. Still 
love my Toluca ones more. This is like the closest I got though. Still a great swimwear line, but this just goes to show I really do like luxury swimwear and spending a little bit more if it means the swimsuit's really going to fit me well and flatter me well and going to last a long time. So next, let's go with the other luxury swimwear line. This might be one that you guys are more familiar with and can compare. So 437, we all know they're super buttery soft, but they were just so high rise that I swore my coochie was gonna pop out any moment, okay? I wore these to Hawaii, big mistake. Big mistake, like I love them, comfortable, like such a good fabric and material, but there was, there's just not, there's just this, this isn't, this isn't covering anything. On the Toluca swim pieces, there's more material, I guess, around the crotch area. So you're not gonna have a slip up. It's not feeling like it could just pop out at any moment. So yes, this fabric is super buttery soft. I would say Toluca is very similar, like, 437 is just slightly like a hair more buttery, but the fit and security of Toluca wins. And by the way, I was a medium in all these other suits. So medium in 437, medium in Bidey. And then the last one is Abercrombie, kind of a similar cut. All of these are like midi high cut legs. It's just the material is not great. And I feel like with any cheaper swimwear I buy, it like stretches out and gets funky after I wear it once, or it just doesn't necessarily fit perfect. Like it's baggy in different areas. It doesn't necessarily like hug me or do anything phenomenal. It's definitely more affordable, definitely cute. But as far as like fit goes and just feeling my absolute best, this is the winner. And on to the one pieces. This is the Artemis Maxi. I do feel like this is the fullest coverage suit you're going to get. I even feel like the booty coverage is just slightly higher than the maxi bottoms. I bet it's because of the regime. This one doesn't have that. So this is going to be your go-to if you want something that's fuller coverage and you just want to still feel cute and sexy but not have everything out. I get it. This is like going to be the swimsuit I definitely go to when I am around like family, for instance. So with the one pieces, or at least with the Artemis one piece versus the other one, I forget the name, blanking on it, but this one does have built-in pads. So you're not gonna have to worry about like nipping or anything like that. It just has like good support. I will say too, this ribbed fabric is so dang comfortable, like so soft. This is honestly the comfiest swimsuit I've ever worn. It just fits so good, so soft. It has a good amount of coverage in the back while still being flattering. And this little tie around the waist makes it more flattering, but it can come off. So in cute, I am wearing a small long. So the small one pieces are just way too tight, too tight. Bad experience with the other swimsuit in a small. It's like my butt just flipping ate the back of it and it disappeared and I don't know what happened. So I do need the extra two inches. So in the longs, they have two extra inches time I've tried on one pieces they always feel way way too tight like they're pulling and I even typically have issues with body suits too so if you just feel like anytime you try on one pieces body suits that they feel tight in your torso then you probably have a slightly longer torso and I would go with the long the difference between the maxi and the midi and the artemis one piece is that the midi is going to be higher cut and a little bit more cheekier. I feel like my favorite of the one pieces would be the Artemis Midi. I feel like that would hands down be my favorite. It would be a good amount of coverage. I think it would be really flattering with the high cut hips. I do you think this is a really good swimsuit if you want a little more coverage? Okay. So I am going to try this one on you. I was originally sent this Venus Midi in a size small regular. And immediately when I put it on, I knew it wasn't fitting right. So as you can see, there's some like material really pulling. And then I kid you not, it is straight up my butt right now. So I'm not going to show you that, but I will at least like show you kind of top up how it's looking. So it is definitely, it's a midi. So it's going to lean a little bit more cheeky, 
but if you get it in the right length for you, it shouldn't be a thong style one piece. The other difference between this one and the other one is that it's not going to have any padding in it, which I do find to be really comfortable. I think that's all personal preference. I honestly like it both ways. I don't notice the difference, but this one doesn't have padding. And the middies are gonna have that high cut. I do think this is the more like revealing or the less coverage of the two styles. So between the Venus and the Artemis, this one is not going to have as much coverage. And specifically because it has this really low back, so it comes down kind of low here. Pretty, it has the crisscross backing. It's a gorgeous one piece. It's just this one is fitting me. It's not fitting me well. It would be so, so much more flattering in the long. But yeah, Venus. You guys, we are moving on to the swim tops. So I was only sent one from the new Palma collection, but I'm going to do my best to go over all the other swim tops to help you make sure that you're getting what you need for yourself and your boobies. So I believe I'm wearing a small. The sizes are different for each of these. So like some are regular sizing and I believe some are cup sizing. I could be wrong. They could all be cup sizing, but I will make sure to pop up all the sizing here. So I'm a 32B or I wear a small and all swim tops. So with the strapless swim top, I do feel like this is going to be a little bit better for smaller cup sizes. And then also the question I have been getting is, does it stay up? Does it stay on? Are you worried about it slipping off? I feel like with any strapless top, there's always the risk that a nip slip could happen. Like it's inevitable because there are no straps. So there's nothing like magical that's going to keep that from happening. So personally, this is like my go-to top if I'm gonna be laying out and just wanna like chill out, read a book, catch some rays, not do anything too crazy or active. I'll say something that's really nice about this one that's gonna keep it from slipping and like doing that little small weird boob thing is this like kind of bar on the side. It keeps it stretched out here. So it's not gonna like, I don't know, shrink down, but it's nothing too stiff that's like digging into your sides or anything like that and then also it has this little like grip thing grip rubber grip thing on the top which is also going to keep it from slipping and falling down so these two features really do help it stay up but would i like go swim in the ocean in this would i have a super active pool day in this probably not but there are other tops for that. Other thing, there's no padding in this top. I don't believe there's padding in the other tops. I will let you know in the little like description things here if there is, but this one doesn't. Um, and personally, I like it. I don't find any issue with that at all. Moving on to the other tops. So we have the Clara top. This one is going to resemble more of like a sports bra. I feel like it's gonna be one of the most or more supportive tops and it's gonna be really secure. So like you're not gonna to have to worry about anything happening, it should hold you in. So if you're someone who's really active at the beach or you're active at the pool or you just want more coverage, I feel like that one is going to be great and it's going to be supportive. Next, we have the Anthea top. So this is gonna be the one that's like your traditional triangle top. It's not gonna have any padding, but personally, I do love triangle tops. I think having smaller boobs, I do find triangle tops to be more flattering. Um, and I really love the triangle tops in the last collection. I just, I don't know, they felt so good. But those ones did have padding. They were a slightly different style. So these ones are gonna be a lot more minimal and not have that padding. So I'm not sure, but I do always just like a traditional, simple triangle top. And then we have Angelina, which I feel like is one of the cutest swim tops ever. Um, it's very feminine and it's going to be good for support. So it does have adjustable like strings here so you can adjust the support, whether you want it a little looser or whether you want to be held in and tight. So it's really adjustable to you. I believe it has adjustable straps too. And it kind of has the underwire look to it, but from everything I've heard, it doesn't dig in. I assume it's similar to this feeling, which like would totally be fine. So Angelina and Clara are gonna be your higher or highest support. And then the Juliet and Anthea 
is going to be, I feel like, better for smaller cup sizes or if you want less support. Time to move on to the cover-ups and I'm a little obsessed with this one. So since I'm already wearing it, thought I'd go over it. So this is the Camila skirt. Yes, cover-up. So super cute and there also is the Naomi and that's going to be the full length one um, with slits up the side but personally I love a little wrap skirt I just think they're so flattering so cute so easy to throw on I would go with your true size so like I said I'm between a small and medium I feel like in a cover-up it's totally fine for me to go with a small especially something like this where it's adjustable and it doesn't have to be like too fitted or anything like that so personal favorite cover-up I don't feel like there's too much to go over with the cover-ups I just feel fancy and I feel cute in it. All right, next cover up that I got is the Maria top and the Victoria skirt. So if you're wanting something super flowy, super girly, this is for you. I'm wearing a small in both. Once again with the cover ups, I just feel like go with your true size. They're so flowy and I don't know. I just don't feel like you need to size down or size up if you're in between you're probably fine to just go with your smaller size. So I really like how the smalls are fitting. Personally, I love the top. I just love a good wrap top. It's really flowy and comfy. And I feel like I can wear this to dress up too, or like for anything, not just to cover up. So you can get lots of use out of it, but it is really girly, really cute. Wear a small and I really like it. All right guys. That brings this video to an end. If there's anything I missed, any questions that you have, just comment below, DM me. I'm more than happy to help because I want you feeling good in your swimsuits, in your cover-ups, whatever you get. I want you feeling confident and loving every piece that you get. Have an amazing day. Go create your best self. And please, please, please just remember that you are beautiful as you are. I know swimsuits can be challenging. I know like it's hard to not pick yourself apart when you're not wearing much clothes um, and you're in front of people. But just remember, you are so beautiful. We all have our imperfections. We all have our flaws. And just celebrate your body as you are. And don't try to fit into clothes. Make those clothes fit you. So I want to help you find swimsuits that fit you so that you can feel confident and beautiful and not have to worry or feel insecure when you're going to the beach or pool or anything like that. So I just wanted to remind you guys, you're so flippin' beautiful. Do not forget it, okay? All right, have an amazing day. Create your best self. Bye, guys.